no makeup today. I had an emergency. I, I gave myself a surgical incision on this finger and I'm treating it. It was by accident. See these scissors? I just got them like a couple weeks ago. These are kitchen scissors. These things are sharp. And I treated it and um, what I'm doing seems to be working. This is the Wonder Powder. I actually bought this from my acupuncture doctor. I don't know what's in it, but boy, this stuff works great. Um, you may say, well, you're going to show us the wound? Yeah, I'm just letting you know. What happened is I was making my rice and beans dish, and I was trying to cut some kombu into a smaller into a smaller section and I ended up I was hold the way I was holding the seaweed I ended up chipping right into this hand about one third inch deep oh it didn't hurt at first you know when you get a but then boy then the blood came out I got blood on the carpet I got blood and I thought oh my god that's I might need stitches you know and I thought I don't want to go to the doctor so you know, I'll show you the wound um let's see Let's t I'm doing. I'm still able to do all the Gale commandments, and I figured Jesus wouldn't give me a command. I'm gonna take the Band-Aid I made off. I I had a first aid kit on me, so I'm using what's in it. And um, oh boy, I think I'm gonna need. Let me get the scissors. Scissors. Oh God, hold on. I'm getting it to feel like crap today, but it's doing very well. Apparently, I'm a really good doctor. <laughs> Here's the, uh, you can still see it's, I had to change the band, the gauze three times when I first applied it because it kept filling up with blood. So here is the, he said, that doesn't look bad at all. Well, I must be a really good doctor, so, oops. Let's see if we can get it, get that. It's actually looking pretty good. Um, I can get that in there. Come on, Lord. There it is, but if I get it just to focus, there it is. Wow, that looks, it doesn't look, you should have seen it yesterday. It's about a third, a quarter of an inch deep. And, um, it was bleeding all over the place. What, what I did was I, um, the first thing I did was put paper towels over it to keep the blood from going all over the place. It didn't completely work because when I tried to put the gauze on it, I had to, I had to use hydrogen peroxide on the carpet to clean out the blood. Then I, once I found my equipment, which was the powder, it took me 10 minutes to find the powder. But it was worth it because look what look how good this powder is working. So I'm not even I'm waiting for it to form a scab. So I found the powder, but first I washed the wound off with water and antibacterial liquid soap. Then I rinsed it out real good. It was still bleeding while this was happening, so I was getting blood all over the sink. Then I put what then I put um uh, I think I put gauze on it next or paper towel on it next and I held pressure on there for 10 minutes to stop the bleeding and I tried to lift it above my head too to try to stop bleeding you know above the level of the heart and I was able to stop bleeding after most of the bleeding after about 10 minutes you said well we can't see your wound why don't you take the powder off no I'm not taking the powder off whatever look at this look how good it's doing it was actually borderline stitches, so I um, it took me several hours to deal with this because I had to clean the, the blood that got on the carpet, and I had to clean. I have new respect for those scissors. I actually think Lori McBride was using brain control on me to get me to do this, but fortunately, I'm able to deal with it. So I, um, you say oh, it doesn't look that bad. It was it was bleeding really bad, and so then I put a then I put gauze around it and surgical tape and then a band then a waterproof band-aid on top of that because so the blood when the blood soaked through the blue gauze I ended up changing the band-aid three times last night because it kept filling up with blood 
And then I took a shower by lifting my arm and not, I'm, I'm, my strategy is to, keep, is to keep this dry. Though I will change the, um, I will change the Band-Aid every day, but dry and clean. Whatever I'm doing is working. I'm actually probably getting better results than you said. Well, we would. Why did you take the powder? No, I'm not taking the powder off. So, anyways, uh, so I'm also okay. I just wanted to show this to you. So now I'm going to go ahead and put another band aid over this. Actually, it looks like I don't need to put new powder on there. It's doing. I'm just going to leave the powder the way it is. I just wanted to take the band aid off so you can see. I was so mad at myself for doing this. From now on. When I use those kitchen scissors, I'm going to have a new respect for them. I am not. Let's see if I can get that in there. I don't have the best camera equipment, so. That yeah, looks good. I'm really encouraged by this. Whatever I'm doing, you can see where all the blood went. Oh, come on, Lord. This camera just does not want to focus. Come on, focus. There it is. That's looking really good. I'm a superb doctor, you know. Actually, my acupuncture physician said that I'd make a great acupuncture physician. She encouraged me to go to, to acupuncture school. Uh, you may say, what's in that powder? That powder is good stuff, man. If you got a, a, a puncture, if you got a... Fortunately, the scissors were pretty clean when I cut into my finger. So it was, it was like I gave myself a surgical incision. And... What, what I'm going to do for the next couple days, I'm also drinking, okay, I think I've shown enough of this. Let me, uh, I'm going to put a Band-Aid back on it. I'm going to put the Band-Aid back on it. Yeah. I actually ordered some free gauze from my health plan, and that'll be coming in about a week, and I think I have enough to tide me in, over until then. If not, I can make do. And now what I'm going to do is put a Band-Aid on this just to protect it, the, the wound even further, just over the, over the gauze. There's my equipment. And I have a clean... Um, I actually sanitize these scissors with isopropyl alcohol right there, and I'm keeping them in this bag. And um, this is what I'm using. And here's the the band-aid that I just put on. See, that's how I'm doing. Whatever I'm doing is working because that wound looks great, man. I don't see any signs of infection. It's healing well. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. So what, what I'm going to do is, try, is I'm going to keep this wound dry for about a week and just change the band-aid every day. And if it looks like I need to put more powder on, I will. I didn't need to put more powder on because the powder I had from yesterday is still good. And then after keeping it dry for about a week, then I'll take a shower. You say, man, you're being a little overly cautious. Hey, I don't want to, when I first saw that, I thought for sure this is, this is really like stitches, you know. Could have been stitches or borderline stitches. It was pretty deep. I mean, I, it took 10 minutes to stop the blood. I got it on the carpet and I had to change the gauze pad three times because it was filled with blood. So, it, you know, it was pretty respectable. So what I'm doing is working. Let me tell you about this powder. Um, let me get back. Excuse me, no makeup, but, you know, I have to do the Gale Commandments. And I'm, I'm a day late on video. This powder, according to my acupuncture doctor, she said that she had a cat that injured his paws so bad when she took the cat to the, the ER they said they needed to amputate the cat's paws and she said no way so she took the cat home and treated the cat herself and she used this powder the cat completely healed and he was able to keep all his paws so when i heard her story i thought if it would work on that cat it'll work on this and believe me it's doing it so you might say well what if i get a cut like this what if you would 
I said, where can I get that powder? You know her name? Um, I, I don't know if she wants me to make videos about her. Though. <laughs> it's been associated with me. You know, they do sell dry wound powder online. So it looks, it's kind of like an, looks like it's got iron in it. It's kind of a rusty color. So find some sort of rusty colored powder online. Buy that. Here's what, here's the blood. So you can see it was still soaking blood. This is like the fourth gauze. I changed the band-aid three times yesterday, and this was overnight. I slept in that. And um, so excuse the way I look, but I'm going to do it to make a video. But what I'm going to do is keep it dry, keep it clean, and um, change the band-aid. And then after a week, then I'll let it get wet in the shower. I might do it sooner, depending on how... I'm waiting for it to form a scab. Once it forms a scab, then I can go in the shower. But uh, today, I mean, I I'm take I have to take a bath every day. So I shower every day and I wash by holding my I hold my arm up to keep keep I keep this dry fairly dry. But right after I take the shower, it always gets a little bit wet anyway. So I change the band-aid right after the shower, put new powder on, and I might, you know. I'm still I have to do the Gale commandments and I'm able to do them all. So and I've been working on I'm working on two books at the same time and I just started oh no I got powder all over my computer terminal. <laughs> oh no, look at this. <sighs> you see that? Oh well, I've got to, I gotta clean that up. Let that let me turn it upside down right now. Oh god. Oh. All right. Anyways, I got some work to do. This has been a mess, man, dealing with this. Apparently, some of the powder fell off on. <laughs> oh, God. I'll get to get my vacuum cleaner. That'd be the best way to handle this. So um, I got more cleanup to do, but I've been working on my book and staying up far too late. I'm actually, those of you are, that are familiar with Homura Tatsu, it's all Japanese. It's about my Japanese royal ancestors where I got my Catherine the Great genes. I will have a link underneath this video where you can see the work that I'm doing. It's fascinating history about how I'm descent. I'm descended from these people. And I'm descended from a royal family on my mother's side. And on my father's side, I got the King David genes, and he's descended from King David, my father. In fact, Howard Hughes is my great uncle. Howard Hughes had King David genes as well. So I've got a lot of royal blood in me, and I'm just... I, well, I thought it would be, nobody knows about my Japanese ancestors, the Oshu Fujiwara family, and they were fairly important in Japanese history around 1000, 1100, 1200 AD, and even before that. But that's, so I'm writing a story about them, and I've been doing a lot of research. I'll have a link underneath this page. I actually was able to put English subtitles into the best Japanese production that was made about them, and it's really it's and the production is so good it's like if it was if they would let it be shown over here it's worthy of an emmy or an academy or an oscar it's that good but the reason nobody knows about it is because of me people don't want to know that that's my family so it's banned over here it's it's, a, it's like looking for gold on the street to find i I managed to find English subtitles by finding a website, an Asian drama wiki, where somebody actually posted the subtitles to the first five episodes. And then I have the subtitles from episodes 26 to 35 by a, a, a video cassette that my mother gave me around 1996, that, where in Hawaii they showed it. So uh, I'm going to be, I'm, I will, I have it on. I'm going to be putting it all onto video. It's going to take me a while, though. Subtitles are a lot of work. Anyways, I had to make my videos. That's what I've been doing, working on research for my books and tending to my finger.